Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. In this episode, we're going to show about how to surf the internet using your voice and the TiVo Stream 4K. Now, what really excites me about this is that this is going to make searching the internet a little bit easier for those that have a challenge using a keyboard. Now, if you if this doesn't ring a bell right away, this for those who have, uh, say, Parkinson's or know someone who does have Parkinson's or otherwise has some challenges with, with typing on the keyboard, uh, you know, motor control issues, whatever, this is going to make it an option for them to be able to use the internet a little bit easier. Now, it's not going to be a solve-all solution, but it's an option, and it was something that really got my attention because I've had to go order now a second TiVo 4K because this one's going to stay in the studio so I can work with it and I'm going to leave the other one in production because I've replaced a Roku. So I don't, with the way, what this can do, I, I may go back to the Roku from time to time, but you know, this just, I, I thought you really wanted to see this. Not rambled on long enough. I'm sorry. The content you're seeing is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnetter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this video, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over installing a web browser, and you'll find in time there's I've got a lot of videos already planned for this and the, the, the TiVo stream 4k has that much potential. So we're going to install a web browser and then I'm going to show you about accessing a website using your voice. And there's still some things that you're going to have to use the, what I'll call the, the trackpad here to, to do, but at least the voice will save you from typing some of those, uh, longer URLs and some of them, you know, we may have to find ways around. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to go ahead and let me take my 4K here and I'm going to plug it into the video switcher and I'm going to plug in power and we should see, whoops, wrong channel. There we go. Okay, so now that's booting up. So it'll take it just a second here to... Uh, to make that happen. And if, if you catch me looking off to the side here, I've actually just installed a, a large preview monitor off the right to, uh, to, to my left rather to see things a little bit easier and lesson to self next time I'll have this booted up, but I was trying to have it to where you could see it a little bit easier. Okay. Come on. It'll you in this day of instant gratification. We all want this up now. Okay. So what we will do at this point, and I'm going to drop, the uh, lower third right now to make this a little bit easier. Uh, there we go. It took it a second for it to, to find this. So we'll go to apps and we will see is the browser up here? No. Okay. So we'll go to get more apps. And let's go down here. I could have just searched for it by, by voice, but what uh, what's the fun in that? Okay, let's go. I believe it's going to be tools. Yes, there we go. Uh, and what you see right here, uh, the the downloader by Troy Point, this is going to be used in a lot of videos moving forward because uh, I'm going to show you how to do a whole lot of things, including how to use the TiVo 4K to manage your smart home. And trust me, this is going to be an interesting journey. So we'll do TV web. And we'll click install. And I, I'm really appreciative of everybody who, re, the way you reacted to the first video, because this is, this tells me that I've hit a hot button. So I want to make sure I do different things for you. If there's anything you'd like to see done with the TV 4K, please let me know. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click open. And the key of it is you go up here and you click on the hourglass and weather.gov, whoops. Okay, let's, okay, let's go back here. Okay, in other words, be careful when you select the hourglass because it's gonna start acting at that point. weather.gov forward slash EAX. 
no it, okay it, it okay well it, it got it there but let's let's try it again here because i i when i tried this before okay let's back out here Okay, come on. Let's there we go. I had to have second weather.gov forward slash E A X. Okay, it's apparently I'm speaking a little bit differently today. So I'm gonna use the cursor pad here, but see at least it found it. Now the other day it went went right to it. So it at least gives you an option. And let's, okay, so we've done that. So we'll go back out here. And apparently they're using Chrome. It says an older version. Okay, come on here. All right, and let's try this. Weather.gov forward slash E-A-X. Okay, let's try it one more time here. I'm not going to give up on this just yet. Weather.gov forward slash E A X. Okay, I just had to be a little more uh, distinct with with what I was saying. Okay, so we'll go back there. Okay, so it it uh, the point I was trying to make is it will sometimes you you have to be a little distinct, and I've not done the voice training. I will look at doing that because. At another point in time, I had tried that and was less than impressed. It, it did a lot of misreading. And as you can see, there's still some things where you, you've got to look at your verbiage a little bit. So let's go back over here and we'll go out. Okay. And then we'll highlight hourglass. YouTube.com. Okay, so it did find that, and uh, let's try something that's a really long URL, and techbyteswithronnutter.com. Okay, so it, 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 it found the channel, and it also found the, the website. So, you know, the, the searching is there. I haven't done a reinstall yet. Let's go ahead and throw caution to the wind here. Like, what do you not do when you're uh okay we're okay this is gonna go to hold down a whole other rabbit hole but at this point they they're apparently doing a wrapper on it and i'm going to look at some of the other browsers and as you will see that there is a lot of possibilities now once you bring up the web browser then you know what you're going to have to do is uh, weather.gov forward slash eax So once you bring it up, that's kind of the end of the of the voice control, but at least this seems to be pretty responsive. Now, most of the time I can do just the uh, the little round button to get things to select. Only like in one case did I have to do uh, a double click, and I might just not have done it right the first time, but you can scroll down the page. It's got you've got decent functionality. So this is something that is well worth looking at I, I mean it's this was a pleasant surprise i didn't look at that from this standpoint when i first got this because i thought okay 50 dollars streaming receiver now depending on when you're viewing this video it may go up to 70 so if you haven't ordered one please do so as soon as possible because you want to get on that good pricing and even at 70 dollars, it's a decent value so that's pretty much got us to where we're going to be at this point. I've shown you how to install it with that browser. And I'm going to try some other browsers, but that was the one by default. And if we go back here, uh, let's go, go to back here. Got to back out a little bit. Now let's just hit the master button and go all the way here. Uh, if we go here and get more apps and we'll back out. Uh, the this downloader by Troy Point, this is going to be the secret sauce to some of the future videos to where you're going to be able to to install things that uh, are not, and when I say intended for the TiVo 4K, they're not formatted, right? So probably what's going to happen based on some other things I've seen is you will, it'll be formatted like for a smartphone. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's, it's, a, it's an, to me, it's an even trade-off because that way you can use something that wasn't intended for the platform that may be occasional, a little glitchy, but 
you know, sometimes you, you got to take the uh, one thing with another to, to get it working. So this is definitely uh, worthwhile. It, you know, you can't go wrong, especially if you have somebody who has some physical challenges, either they have no feeling in their fingers, they've got Parkinson's, there's, or even some, I think some types of diabetes can cause some problems with some, the nerve endings. So this is a way where you can help someone be able to get some use out of the internet that maybe is a little of a challenge when they're on a regular keyboard. Plus now they can do this on a, on a large screen. So again, rambled on long enough. Thank you for everybody watching this one. This is, has been a, a, a labor of love to do it. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos to the right or to the left that are the next steps to the ones that you've watched or other content that I've produced. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.